I again. Forgive my delay in getting back to everyone. It's been a tough go for the last while. Every day is a fight, and it's exhausting. It's actually beyond tiring. Some of you have commented and said that I'm just spiritually homeless, and that's absolutely not the case. I am legitimately homeless. And unless you have been homeless at some point in your life, you have no idea what that's like at all. And that's also the point of this system, is to just get as many of you as possible to not care about that situation. And that's another point, is that this is completely the wrong system. This is the wrong idea through and through. Because even for there to be one homeless person in this world means that it's the wrong kingdom. Completely the wrong kingdom. And so this whole system just gets everyone to focus on their own selfishness instead. Just focus on your own little life. Keep it boxed in. Don't be concerned about anyone or anything else. Just live it through and see it as just some temporary little experience that is essentially meaningless in the grand schematic of things. That's how it wants you to see things, which is obviously very nihilistic as well. You have to dig into it to see that, though. So as I was saying, every day is a fight. That's the truth. And it is tiring. Very tiring. And my messages are going to change. My approach to them is going to be quite different from from this point forward, and it's probably going to continue to change. And I'm going to be presenting a lot of things that I haven't said before. I might be silent just like that for a while, too. Are you willing to sit in between the pauses to see what I have to say? Do you feel that it's important enough to listen? Maybe I might be silent for an hour. A straight hour of just complete silence before I say another thing. I wonder how serious some of you really are. I don't just wonder that. I I question that deeply, and that's the whole point of what I'm going to bring forward here today. The question being, who is real? Who is actually real? Not as an act, when I use the word actually. Legitimately, truthfully real. There's so much artificiality, so much fakeness. When it comes time to be serious, where are the real? That's the big question. Anyone can fake being real while things are easy. Anyone can do that. That's the job of an actor. When things are very, very difficult, who's going to be real enough to go through that? It's, it's not going to be easy peasy. The walk, I'm going to talk a lot more about the walk and what it really means. It legitimately is about walking away from it all. That means 
your house that you live in, you need to be ready to walk away from that house. You're not going to be walking to the kingdom of heaven while laying down on your couch. That's not how this works. When I said, actions speak to eternity, that's what that means. Again, I reiterate, putting meat behind your words, your declarations. So I'm homeless, the reason why? Because you can't set up roots or lay down roots in the wrong kingdom. That's the point. This is the kingdom of death. And when you leave, you bury it, just like you bury the dead. The living, you don't go back and visit graveyards when you're truly alive. You just don't do that. That's not what the living do. The dead do that. When you're alive, you bury the dead or bury the dog, as I had stated years ago, a a quote from Gurdjieff. No, bury the whole dog. Bury the devil. Bury the dead. You leave it behind for good. There's no coming back. When you leave, you're done. Done. That's what I meant. When you're truly done with this place, who is real? Who's going to be truly done? That's the big question. There's so much artificiality, so much fiction. The multitudes really are siphoners, like vampires, unwilling to give anything from the center of selflessness, just always about selfishness. Who's fighting against the programs? Against their own programming. Who's ready to walk away from the fictions? A key point to understand is that this is the heaven of hell. And inversely, the hell of heaven. That's one aspect of what I meant by being in the world between worlds. So this is truly the upper level of hell think about that let that really sink in this is the upper echelon the best of the best of hell's system you're in it right now if you are listening to this you're in the heaven of hell can you imagine what the lower echelons are actually like really Really let that sink in. Some of you have listened to Jordan Maxwell. This is exactly what he meant by, no, you have liberty. You have temporary liberty, which is a short shore leave. Yeah, you're on the surface in service to hell's system. Temporarily before getting tossed back into the into the dark abyss. You're going to get tossed back at death into the dark abyss, crying out for help. Just like I stated in the Golden Web, Bodas, from the Latin, Bodas, Bodas. Send a boat, because we're lost at sea. Drowning in death. Death. The debt of sin. The wrong idea completely. This is not a joke. You are in hell. This is just the heaven of hell. Another thing I wanted to point out is one needs to pay attention to who the nihilists are. 
They always say that nothing matters. It's all an illusion. I ask again, who's real? A ghost, a phantom calls everything an illusion. Because they are the mirage. They are what is not real. A figment of the imagination. A fake. A fraud. They can't believe in a creator, a true creator, because they don't believe in creation. They just want to destroy and consume it all to prop up the fiction. They don't give a damn about the consequences either, obviously. And they audaciously pronounce that they hold the quality of love inside of themselves still. They're fakes. Frauds. That's what the artificial is. A house without the truth is a house of death. A house of mockery. That's what I always meant by that. It's a mortgage. A pledge to death. Look at all the mortgages. Look at all the pledges to death. More and more and more of them being built every single day. Non-stop. Swearing allegiance to a cyst stem of slavery to enjoy sick, twisted, and perverted pleasures. It's grotesque, ugly, and disgusting. The nihilists desecrate the sacred to bow down at the altar of disease and infestation. They're unable and completely unwilling to take anything seriously. Simply wanting to keep dicking around and acting like an ass. Believing in wearing a bag of bones and rotting, decaying flesh. That's what beauty looks like to the blind. And the blind are ferocious, ferocious adherents to the devil's design. See, Prometheus, he steals the light of God's son, which is the heart, and feeds it to the artificial dead Frankensteins of his monstrous shit suit creation. So Prometheus being another name for the devil, who is the dog, the opposite of God. As it's been said, a dog is man's best friend. Or in other words, the devil is the monkey suit wearer's best friend. This is the big question about this as well. Or the big tell. How many zombies, and I mean zombies, are ready to come out when the taps of the true light of the heart no longer deliver life to all of the artificial people out there. Ponder that one. Another thing too, I have passion. I wanted to state that. I have immense passion. The nihilist abuser has lunacy. Passion for truth is the heart. And without it, there's just death. So to those who don't like it, you're not real. Get lost. This is an emergency, and you don't stay calm in an emergency. The house is on fire. Do you speak in a calm voice like this to the people who are asleep in the house? Oh, by the way, there's a fire. There's a fire. And then they stay asleep and get burned to death. Yeah, that's that's the zend out nihilist approach. Always saying, just calm down. Calm down. Okay, Mr. and Mrs. Artificial. Just calm down. Just Just be a robot. Just be an android. Just a calm robot android nihilist. Don't get passionate about the emergency that's happening. No, just just calm yourself down. Just speak in a monotone, soft voice. You'll be able to reach more people that way. Yeah, it looks looks like... 
the calm approach really reached a lot of people, which is why things are getting better all the time. Look around. It's getting so much better because of that calm approach. Wow, yeah, it really is working. That's why things are going to shit more and more by the second. Yeah, keep that philosophy going for sure. So I repeat to those who say, stay calm, fuck off. Oh my God, he said the bad word. Yeah, get used to it. Get used to it. You have no, no idea. No idea how passionate I am. At all. No one has even begun, begun to hear what I have stored inside of me. You think what you're going to hear on here is passion? As I said, wait, wait until the revelations of the street come forth. Wait until that delivery happens. And for those who think that I'm going to be standing on some soapbox with a megaphone, you have no concept of what the impossible is all about. This is not just some dude taking a walk down the street and blabbing away. At all. I I have no idea where these ideas even come from. If that's your concept of the impossible, then God help you, is all I have to say. So this is going to be a shorter one today. As I said, every day is a fight. I had to go through a lot of things. I'm not going to talk about it. That's not what any of this is about. I've never brought forth my personal issues, problems, etc. But I will tell you this, or I will ask this. I want to know who's real out there. Legitimately all in for the heart, the kingdom of heaven, the truth. And I mean all in. Ready to lay it all on the line. So I ask only those who are real to comment and leave your email address because I'm going to personally get in contact with some of you. Not all of you by any means. And I'm going to say right now, there's a lot of artificiality out there. And in the comment section, those who like to stir the pot, so to speak. There's a lot of lurkers. Lurkers aren't welcome into the kingdom. Those who don't participate. Actions speak to eternity. Those who have been listening for years and not being a participant, you're a lurker. Get lost. So, to those who are real and only those who are real, and you're going to have to declare it in truth, that you're all in completely for the kingdom of the heart. Otherwise, don't bother. I'm not going to waste my time. And nor should anyone who is real. You shouldn't waste your time. And I know is real sounds like Israel. That's not my intention. That's the phonetic interplay of the whole language web, obviously. So, leave your email. And I will be in contact with some of you. At my discretion. And if that bothers anyone that I'm not contacting you personally, fuck off. (laughs) 